This is an introduction to a song I'm about to publish called Stank Puss. And for anyone that listens to this, I thank you very much, and I thank you to all my YouTube subscribers, numbering almost a thousand. And the reason for this, and sorry that it's my longest song introduction, and possibly the longest introduction in the world history of songs, because this isn't just the best vagina song I've ever written, Stank Puss is the best song I've ever written, and if I say that hands down, and by the way, if you do go hands down on a Stank Puss, may I suggest a 40-gallon drum of hand sanitizer. By the way, where is my Grammy? In 2020, I'd like to hear... And the Grammy for Best Vagina Song goes to Stank Puss. By the way, I must confess, at first I wrote a song called Frankenvag about a woman I once dated with a true uh, true story with a tattoo and an inconveniently placed piercing. The tattoo said entrance with an arrow you know where. But that's a song for another day because Stank Puss is a much bigger problem plaguing America today. Okay, here's the story. I was in my late 20s. I met a woman at a party. I went back to her place. I was getting over a cold at the time, and I could not breathe through my nose. Things got hot and heavy. I went down on the lady. Things proceeded from there. She was tired, so we laid down to go to sleep. But I I told her that I I just could not breathe, and I was going to walk to my car where I had some nasal spray so that I could breathe for the rest of the the evening and get some rest. And so uh, she said, well, just go through the front door, leave it unlocked, and lock it when you come back in. It was like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., the summertime was probably like 70 degrees outside, so I just went outside in my underwear figuring, out eh, they're kind of like shorts anyway, and uh, I'm protected and there's no one around, so I started walking to my car. I walked by this park, and I remember, that's weird, I didn't walk by a park when I walked to her place, so I realized I'd rocked the, I would walked the wrong way. She lived at the end of a cul-de-sac, and so I started walking the other way, and all of a sudden I hear this loud dog barking behind me getting closer and closer and closer and so i started to run barefoot on the sidewalk and my feet were like ah that hurts when you run on the sidewalk barefoot and you're an old man i guess and so i was planning on jumping on the roof of my car but all of a sudden the dog tails off before i got back to my car so i i I got the nasal spray i used it i thought i'd be happy to finally breathe through my nose Boy, was I wrong. I started to notice a terrible smell, like a, like rotten eggs and something else that I, I couldn't place. And I thought to myself, there's definitely a gas leak in, in the neighborhood. And I was going to go start warning neighbors, and I thought I'd go back and warn the woman that I was staying with. Or at least see if the smell got stronger or weaker, what closer do I got. And when I got to her room, I, I went into her bathroom and thought maybe there was something wrong, maybe in the nasal spray. So... I started to wash my nose, and I, I noticed the smell got a little bit weaker. And then when I put, I, I put my hands near my nose to wash it, and I noticed that the smell got really strong with my fingers. And then I figured it out. There was no gas leak in the neighborhood. I'd simply gone down where I shouldn't have on a stank puss. And I've written about this before, like this short verse in Vagina the Musical but that I'll play right now, but I don't think I properly gave it homage to cover the problem of Stank Puss, which is why I now am about to record and I will publish my newest masterpiece, Stank Puss. But first, here's that other verse that I previously had published. Sense of smell must somehow be retrieved. 